Hey guys, this is PK News back with another news item. So yesterday I posted about uh, there was some sludging or some racer remarks from the crowd on the Indian team and Australian cricket board apologizes after Indian players complain for the racist abuse. So Australian cricket board, they actually come down and they actually go ahead and apologize to the Indian cricket team, which is very responsible thing to do and I don't think they had any other choice in this regard. So Cricket Australia apologized to the Indian team on Sunday and launched a probe into allegations visiting players were subjected to racial abuse by part of the crowd during the third test at Sydney Cricket Ground. The Indian team lodged an official complaint after play on Saturday after bowlers Bumbra and Siraj complained of hearing racist slurs while fielding near the boundary rope. On Sunday, Siraj approached the umpire, pointing towards the stands, and the action was paused as police ejected six fans from the ground. CA launched a parallel investigation with New South Wales police, promising to take the strongest measures against anyone found guilty of vilification. It is most regrettable that an otherwise excellent test match con contested and tremendous spread by two friendly rivals had been tarnished by the action of smaller number of spectators over the past two days. Head of Integrity and Security Scene, Carol, said in a statement. So I think this is quite fine now because although there were some bad apples in the crowd, but they were removed once the players reported that, which is a very responsible thing <clears throat> from the officials at that uh, ground to do. I mean, the police actually came down and uh, escorted those people are out of the ground. Uh, they could have done a little bit further, like uh, probably impose some kind of fines. But you know, these kind of things, you have to look at the other side of the way as well. Like people are there, they're trying to have some fun and they're probably, you know, a little bit, they've taken some drinks as well. So after that, you can't really control much. And then, you know, uh, since there's a cricket match going on and people, are really emotionally tied up to the cricket match and obviously when, uh, when there's a difficult situation then people have to take out their aggression sometimes and uh, given all the factors like maybe they could be drunk or they're just trying to have fun these kind of things do happen once uh, once you're at the ground so anyway India's Ashwin said the team had been Insulted by Sydney spectators in the past, but the racial abuse had crossed the line during the ongoing match, which is being played in front of a reduced crowd of less than 10,000. So I guess this time they, they said something that was just not acceptable at all. So India's regular captain Virat Kohli was fined half of his match fee in 2012 for responding to barracking from the SCG crowd by gesturing at them with his middle finger. Kohli, who returned home after playing in the first test to attend the birth of his first child, said racial abuse was completely unacceptable. Having gone through many incidents of really pathetic things said on the boundary lines, this is the absolute peak of rowdy behavior. So this is nothing new that has happened to the Indian team in the past, and Kohli actually had to pay a little bit of fine as well, half the fee of that match, to cover that up so I guess it's only you know um, decent for the Indian players to report it up uh, they should do it more often if this happens you know because the crowd has to understand there are certain boundaries as to what you can say and what you cannot say it's just like in real life I mean the crowd feels safe that they're behind the boundary and uh, the player can't really do anything about it but the players can players can actually report you and then after that, you would be escorted outside of the ground. And maybe in the future, the crowd can be fined as well, just like the Indian players were fined in the past. So this is it. I think this is a better result for the new story that we covered earlier yesterday. So I'm definitely sure it's going to be uh, better going on. So with that, PK News signing out. Bye-bye. See you.